Hello, my name is Nicole, and thank you so much for taking the time out to listen. This message is titled, A Fresh Start. Life after the hate group family. Okay? Because we have individuals who are looking for a fresh start after growing up, having been indoctrinated with all sorts of hate. We're not just talking about hatred of people who don't look like us, but we're talking about hate because somebody makes more money, because somebody has a job, because somebody has a house, because I can't seem to get a break. So I can't stand. I hate. I wish those people to be gone. Matter of fact, I hate them so much that I'm willing to do just about any and everything to them. Oh, yes. This is the dark side that so many people don't want to face that goes on in their families, that goes on with their friends, various civic groups that they get themselves caught up in, as well as fraternal associations and secret societies. Yes, there is a hate. And God shows us. He shows us the signs that a person has some serious issues with your kind. God will allow the demonic to move on someone to tap to their truth. As I've said in past audio, when a person reveals who they are, believe it. You have individuals who are so desperate, who are so needy for someone that they're willing to just ignore things that they say about that group that they can't stand. You may even test them yourself to see how they feel about that particular ethnicity. And when you hear the answer, rather than run, you say, it's okay. It's all right. I don't think of you any less. We're cool. I still love you. But the reality is, is that somebody has a deep hatred, a deep hatred that sooner or later shows up in all sorts of forms, not just in what they say, but in the addiction that they end up having. An addiction of alcohol, an addiction of drugs, an addiction to cursing people out, to wishing death upon them, to participating in all sorts of rituals. Oh, we got some individuals who they don't mind letting you know they've come through this channel. Being curious, I guess. Or simply wanting to terrorize. Hateful individuals. I told you that we're going to take a political turn. God is moving on my spirit to do just that. Some individuals are not going to like where God has taken me. But at the end of the day, it's about God. And God doesn't want us to be going around spewing all sorts of hate. We're supposed to have some love, but you know, sometimes it's hard, right? Sometimes it's hard. Sometimes you find yourself over one situation, over one incident, only to find yourself back into a hatred of sorts. I'm not going to say that I've never hated because that would be a bold face lie. There are times where I got to check myself even now because of old programming. You see, there wasn't always love in my heart, especially when people bring about some hate. You feel empowered at times to want to pay them back with hate. But all that does is put you in some sort of bondage. You find yourself not being open even when the blessing is right around the corner, you're not open to certain people because they're not your type, cup of tea. They're not your kind. They're not your type. I heard a lot about them. Some of those individuals, they just proved themselves to be just what the organization said, just what the mama said, just what the daddy said. We got individuals who will take scripture and use scripture in such a way to promote the hates. But I tell you, that the organization, the programming, and anything else that is about hate is not what we all need. Instead, we just have some simple needs that the demonic 
will cover up with the hate. Maybe the need is I just want to be with somebody. (laughs) I just want to have a quality relationship. Maybe the need is I just want to have a family one day. Maybe the need is I need some housing. I need some employment. I need something. And it's really not about the hate. The hate is just icing on the cake for some individuals because it gives you the false illusion and it makes you delusional into thinking that you're okay and you're all right with hating on people. Sometimes the hate, once again, isn't about ethnicity. Sometimes the hate is simply I'm hating on someone because I'm jealous because I want what they got. I'm hating on someone because I feel like they shouldn't receive certain things. I'm hating on someone because I don't like that particular gender. And I wish that gender evil because of what I went through. Oh, come on now. We're exposing some of the hate that's going on inside some people. And until you recognize that that hate is doing nothing but poisoning you, you're going to continue to hate. You're going to continue to hate all the way to your dying day. Even God himself won't be able to save you and there's a hell that the demonic wants you very much in because the demonic hates humans that's why the demonic moves on us to scar up ourselves or scar up somebody else the demonic moves on us to destroy a family that really didn't do anything to us oh the demonic will move upon us to get some needs met in a very vicious and ugly way but you see just because some folks is tempted to do some things doesn't mean that they have to there's always something that talks you out of doing something you might go along with not doing it on that day you might go along with turning your back from the opposition, from the group, from whoever who is trying to get you to do something. You just might be successful. You just might be victorious. But some folks, they don't want to do what's right. What's right is to walk away from the tempting situation. What's right is to stop promoting the hate. What's right is to put love in your heart where there's bitterness, where there's upset because daddy really wasn't a good daddy. Mama wasn't really there or daddy was promoting all sorts of hatred towards this particular group because he had gone through so much. You know, sometimes the hatred that relatives have for those other groups spills off onto us and we don't necessarily recognize it until one day we listen to ourselves because God will do that as you walk closer with him. We listen to ourselves and we say, oh, my goodness, did I just say that about those people? Oh, did I really go over there and start some mess? Because the younger ones, they don't mind doing that sort of thing. That's why you get these organ. There's these organizations, I should say, that will promote the younger people because they're impressionable. The younger people think they know so much, right? But then you got these individuals who know how to manipulate them into believing all sorts of things because they're open. They're open to new information fresh ideas they're open to suggestions and so you have the hateful individual who shows up with something in a nice package might even pay some people to say this to do this and next thing you know you just got yourself a new recruit on hating hating all sorts of people places and things the hate has raw people of education Rob people of jobs because, of course, you know, there are a lot of companies that still will not welcome individuals with their tattooed numerical messages. They still will not allow certain offensive imagery to show up on one's body promoting all sorts of things. And so now <laughs> the demonic to mess with my money. Now the demonic. Threw me under the bus. Promised me this and promised me that. Be careful what you advertise. Be careful what you wear. Do something about that sort of thing. The demonic, once again, doesn't care about human beings. The demonic, if anything, figures out a way to 
embody itself within a human being to destroy because that's what the demonic does. It kills, steals, destroys. We're going to take from this one. We're going to kill this one. We're going to destroy hatred. Hatred shows up in all sorts of ways. It shows up through the eyes of a person who has a smile on his or her face. But all the while the eyes say, I can't stand your people. The hate shows up in the smirk on somebody's face when something negative has happened to you. We got men who can't stand women. They can't even stand themselves for wanting a woman. But oh well, I guess I'll deal with her. Because they grew up around a lot of hate-filled types of individuals who just can't stand women. We got some individuals who can't stand black people. Oh, I hate them people. And really, the real issue is, is there's a jealousy. There's something within a person that I want what you got. It's really not about the color of your skin. I want what you got rather than learn from some folk, get some knowledge, get some wisdom. I'm just going to hate on them. We got some individuals that can't stand white people, can't stand Italians, Mexicans, Jews, you name it. They fight their hate, some individuals, because they want to heal. I'm fighting this thing every single day that this group put upon me. And every day you're victorious because you choose not to hate. You choose not to spew out a bunch of negative comments, messages, you name it. You're winning each and every day. But you think that the devil's going to be okay and all right with you? Separating from his gang? Renouncing your allegiance? You think that he's not going to come after you all the more stronger? <laughs> oh... Any of us who decided that we were going to make up our minds and draw near to the one true God, not near toward hate, where they use scriptures to try to get us to hate on this particular group and that one. The devil came all the more. So we fight and we keep fighting. It's a conscientious decision each and every day to say no to hate and yes to love and God is love. Every single day, somebody is fighting with some programming from way back when. Every day, somebody is checking his or herself. I know I had to and continue at times, depending on who I'm around. To not laugh at, mock, ridicule certain organizations, groups, ethnicities, you name it. Oh, we live in a troubled world. We live in a world that needs Jesus like never before. We live in a world that all they know how to do at times behind closed doors or in your face is to talk about what they don't like about you, whether online or offline. And it's really not about you. It's about the fact that you got something that I want. Somebody needs a house today. That's the real issue. And so how might you go about getting that house without hating somebody wants a job today how might you go about getting that job without hating somebody wants simply a partner how might you go about doing that without spewing all sorts of hate somebody wants more love more peace in his or her heart how might you go about doing that Without hating. I mean, come on now. Somebody I know is intelligent enough to figure out a plan to get some needs met without calling this one a name, without thumbing this one down just because, without going over to this particular association or group and saying, you know what, we need to go and do this and do that without having a gang mentality. That beats up, that cuts up, that puts people six feet deep in a grave. I'm sure you can come up with another plan. Jesus, 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 in the name of Jesus, somebody needs to be saved. You are long past overdue on being saved by the one true God. Not by mama God, <laughs> not by daddy God, but the one true God. 
you see, because some people are serving false gods. We know this to be true. That's why there's always some division. If you call up some of your family members and friends, they always got a story about, oh, I can't stand your sister and her, you know what, husband. And, you know, this one was always the problem. And because she decided to go outside of our group, our ethnicity, what have you, that's why she act like the way she acts and blah, blah, blah. And all of this division started with the one who's sitting up there complaining. The one who doesn't want to acknowledge his or her sin. The one who says, I love Jesus, but is living a double life. Is really nothing more than a hypocrite. A lukewarm Christian. The Lord says he spits those type out. While they're bragging about how close they are to the one true God and how they are superior and divine and wonderful. God is spitting people out like that. They're not making it to heaven. You can check the scriptures scriptures <laughs> there's the drunkard who is not making it to heaven every now and again you know we make these mistakes in what we say and what we do because it keeps us humble you see pride doesn't set up when you're making mistakes but anyway you got some individuals who they keep saying things that's causing all sorts of destruction and confusion even among their children and so they're, they are lying on their back, tubes up their nose, and no, not headed toward heaven. I know it is tough to realize that someone who you admired, respected, someone who did some things to help you is nothing more than a worker of the demonic. You know the real reason why some of you all. Are separated from certain family members and friends. Goes beyond just we couldn't get along or I'm a believer now and she's not. But it's because of the hate. The hate that you grew accustomed to listening to. And God said no I don't want you to be around that person because they're very hateful. Even if you did end up forgiving, forgetting, appreciating, welcoming that person, they got a lot of hate. You know it and I know it. That's why some family members that I don't care how nice they are and how much they have forgiven me like me and we're all goody goody. At the end of the day, I still cannot associate with them because they got a lot of hate for that other race for that other gender for that whoever whatever god is not going to allow me to break bread with individuals who are going to do nothing more than try to bring me down you know you got to be careful of the company that you keep you know that evil communications corrupt good manners it's in the bible and all sorts of evil communication, not just what you feel is evil, but all sorts of evil communication, including the kind that you're OK and all right with on any given day because you don't like those people because those people once again disrespected you and all this other stuff. Let me tell you, I've been challenged because of certain jobs that I've picked over the years. And just when I thought I was OK and all right, then along comes somebody saying something or doing something. That caused me to think about some of the old school programming that was put upon me about those people. Okay. Whoever they might be. I'm not going to call out certain ethnicities. And I said to myself, this is ridiculous. I'm not about to go back down that path of bondage, hating on some people just because one person is hateful or prejudiced or racist or whatever we want to call that person. I am not about. To destroy everything that I worked so hard to build up mentally, physically, spiritually behind somebody. I roll in deep sign calling me this name and that name. Doing some disrespectful things trying to psychologically mess with me. Because you know the enemy knows how to get next to you if there's a history of your particular ethnicity going through so much. While everybody else is like, it's no big deal. That person, they, doesn't, they don't mean anything by this, that, and the other. 
But they know what they're doing because they're a part of the hay group and they know how to manipulate. They know how to mess with. They know how to come up with all sorts of strategies and schemes. Well, everybody else is saying you're just paranoid. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you people are so sensitive. But, you know, because these groups are alive and very much active in psychologically breaking people down. But we rise above it. We talk to the one true God. We get our support groups in on what's going on so let's take a moment to just pray about all sorts of hate you know jealousy envy strife covetousness wishing people dead doing evil things we just pray right now for all the individuals who have suffered as well as those who are causing their victims to suffer We pray in Jesus' name that there will be a turnaround of events. Whatever the demonic has set up to do to destroy someone, to hurt someone, including myself, that every curse be reversed in Jesus' name. And that you, Lord Jesus, will move upon the individual to draw near to you as a result of their afflictions. I pray in Jesus' name that your angels will encamp all around us as we promote messages of truth, love, light. Messages that free people up out of their hateful situations, hateful ties, connections, speeches. We ask these things in Jesus' name that there be freedom, Lord Jesus, where there is bondage. That there will be love where there is hate. We ask that every need be met because a lot of this hatred is derived from a need not being met. Lord, you know what the needs are. And so let this individual who has been wanting so bad for a need to be met, that it will be in Jesus' name. Go in peace knowing that the Lord is on your side and that the Lord will make a way for you. That the Lord loves you unconditionally. And that he wants us to love and not hate. May this day be the one that someone, that someone comes to know the one true God in all his glory. Thank you once again for tuning in to NM Enterprise 7. By all means, feel free to subscribe to get the latest audio messages. Also, you can check the description box for any book that might be relevant to your need. Okay. And... If you would like to give, you are welcome to do just that. Blessings to you.